Hello, welcome once again to another episode of Good Morning Innovation. Today we have a great businessman, Mr. A.G. Lovely, CEO of PNG. Hello, everyone. Mr. Lovely, you are here to talk to us a, a little bit about our approach to systematic innovation, but we decide to compare you with another great businessman. What do you think about Thomas Edison? Oh gosh, uh, that's a hard question. He has no precedent talking about his inventions, uh, but I'm sure that there is a list of people that have, has improved their systems. Uh, just like you said when, this, when the show started. I'm a, a businessman, maybe I'm not the best one, but I'm sure that I am on that list. Well, that's an interesting point of view, but let's see what he has to say. Thanks to the wonderful advances and technology of the and the science, they have brought him to life. Ladies and gentlemen, today, only for the program, Mr. Thomas Edison. Oh my God, Mr. Edison, welcome to life. It's great to have you here. You are a really important person for us and our society, even worldwide. Your inventions were surprising for your time and very useful for ours. Okay, Mr. Lovely, let's start with you. Tell me about your opportunity identification. Before we start, it's a great honor to be here in the same room with you, Mr. Edison. I'm a big fan of your work and I think- I don't think so, just because of the way I heard you talking about my work a few minutes ago. That was a real Ooh. comment. You are misinterpreting things, sir. But well, back to the question, I have the idea that the customer is the boss. Uh, so we should focus a lot on them. Actually in the company, employees spend time with our customers to understand them deeply and which allow us to get some real cool ideas. Incredible. What about you, Mr. Edison? How do you do, how, how do you do to identify your opportunities? Was there a process or some rules that you follow? I'm not going to say that it was a system, but I'm sure that any current successful company has used at least one of my elements to identify opportunities. Those elements are identification of potential markets, to have knowledge about annual sales of different products, and the reduction in, pro in production costs. Oh Talking about products, both of you are well known for your systematic experiment experimentation. So, Mr. Lovely, what you can tell us about it? We create a prototype of the idea. Then we show it to our clients and later we put that learning obtained in the product. Ooh. Mr. Edison? Well, our processes were similar. I used to express ideas drawing and not talking. I created diagrams of products. I used to try samples by myself and recorded the results. All this was possible due to our high capacity of experimentation. Okay, and how you promote the commercialization of your products, Mr. Edison? I try to find the commercial viability of the products. The development give us a lot of patents and our capacity brings us the opportunity to produce in a massive way. Oh. Mr. Lovely, you have a very successful commercialization method. Could you say to us one of the most innovative part of the process? Yes, no problem. I think that one of the most disruptive innovations in the method could be the part where there is an owner for every idea who is responsible for its success. This is our last question. And I want to start with you, Mr. Lovely. Is there any advantage in the funeral model for you and your success? Sure. As part of the method, the innovation program was shown every quarter with goals and where to play choices. Also, the leadership 
training and reward system was an important part of it. What about you, Mr. Edison? How do you use the funnel method? The what? And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for being with us. Have a very good day and see you the next time.